Greetings all you whiskey geeks out there. This is Mark from Whiskey Whistle bringing you whiskey review number 23. With us today is Kavalan, another Taiwanese single malt. Um, this one is called Concert Master. It's 40% ABV. I believe it's chill filtered and probably has a little bit of coloring added. This is kind of the standard presentation that most of the major Scotch whiskey producers, uh, the bourbon producers, the Canadian whiskey producers and the Japanese whiskey producers and the Irish whiskey producers, they all start out with this sort of basic, basic bottling. 40% chill filter, a little bit of color to keep the, keep things, uh, the marketability uh, at a sort of, you know, a standard so that the customer can get what they expect. Uh, anyway, so uh, this is the second Cavallon that I've, that I've reviewed. The first was Whiskey Whistle 11. Uh, that was the X bourbon Oak. Uh, which was quite interesting. That was a little wee sample bottle that I had found. Uh, I've still got one of those left. Um, save that for a rainy day. Uh, this is a bottle that's on loan from a very good friend of mine. I've mentioned him before. Uh, again, uh, to Aaron, thanks very much for uh, for providing me with this to review. And um, I'm going to uh, uh, offer you a little something in return. So you can wait for that one. I think we've already talked about it. Uh, anyway, so um, let's get right into looking at, uh, well, first we're going to pour a little bit and uh, then we'll look at the bottle a little bit and, uh, and then we'll go on forward with the tasting, um, uh, the, the, uh, the nosing and the tasting, I should say. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so Cavallon Concert Master. Let's have a look at that one. That should be good. Now the concert master, um, well, I'll just bring the bottle closer up for you to have a look at. Quite a you know different looking bottle. Looks kind of like a like a skyscraper. Um, something that you might find in Taiwan, in fact. Anyway, so uh, this is from uh, the King Car Distillery. That's the name of the distillery where Cavallon is made. Uh, at some point, I wonder, they may actually rename it simply the Cavallon Distillery. Um, the Cavallon, a um, little bit of history with that, uh, that name. Look it up online. I believe it also refers to the people, uh, one of the peoples living on that island. Anyway, so Cavallon Single Malt Whiskey, Port Cask Finish. And a little bit of research, I turn, it turned out that... Um, this one is done in three different kinds, is finished, I'm sorry, finished in three different kinds of port casks. Uh, one of them is um, ruby port, another is tawny port. Tawny port is made from white wine, and uh, the last one was vintage port. And I think that doesn't mean that it's old, simply that it means that it's done with a single vintage. Um, so, that's the story there. Little little mini tasting note here. Rich bodied with natural sweetness and complexity. Uh, well, we'll find out about that. Uh, and the back is full of uh, Chinese characters and, and a sticker uh, with the uh, Korean equivalent. There is a date stamp on here. I believe this was the bottling date, which was 2013, June the 6th. Okay. Put that back there. And um, fairly standard box. What, what do we see there? San Francisco World Spirits Competition 2011 Silver Medal. Now, I think that may be one of the um, competitions um, where basically everybody wins a medal. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, anyway, uh, but still a silver medal. That's a, a good accomplishment. And... Um, Oh, here we go. I'll just read through this one. The Mists of Kavalan, uh, Taiwan. In ancient times, the land around Ilan in Taiwan was called Kavalan, a mysterious land that was solely inhabited by the indigenous people of the Kavalan clan. The name was officially recognized by the emperor of the Qin dynasty in the year 1809, when the original city was built under the same name. Kavalan has always been kept primitive and protected from the outside world by the 
Suyeshan mountain range, which is abundant in high quality natural water that comes uh, from deep within the mountain range. The mists of Kavalan and the spirits of the past have been created for you in this ex exquisite whiskey. Uh, tasting notes, color pleasant brownish red. Now, uh, what I wrote down here is that this looks rather like, in fact, tawny port. Okay. Um, bring that a little closer for you. Okay. The nose, tropical fruitiness with honey, vanilla, coconut, and candy floss. Palette. Rich body with natural sweetness and complexity. Okay. Now, um, rather young whiskey. Uh, this is likely uh, much less than, than 10 years old. Uh, it could be as young as uh, three or four, in fact. And... Um, well, when I smelled this the first time, I thought, boy, this smells quite spirity. So kind of like new make. And uh, living here in Korea, uh, this is also a smell that you'll come to notice in uh, soju. Uh, soju is a, a white distilled liquor, typically made from rice. It could be made from other uh, grains as well or other... Uh, other uh, starch sources. Um, the good ones are made with rice. And uh, well, it's largely unaged. It may be aged in clay pots, uh, but um, aging in uh, wood casks is something that they've only just begun doing uh, roughly about 10 years ago. Uh, anyway, and there's a kind of a mentholic um, scent as well. So quite medicinal. Um, now I did write here icing sugar uh, on the nose. And um, it's a slight rum raisin note as well. So rum raisin, that brown sugar, sort of a, a flavor mixed with raisins. Okay, and also apple seeds and just a little bit of acetone. Um, and not that that's a bad thing, you know, you got to start somewhere. I've mentioned that before, but you have to begin uh, with a young whiskey before you can get to, uh, to a, a very old one. Uh, so if you are sitting around waiting for a distillery to come up with a, a 10 or 12 year old, you're doing a disservice. You should probably go out and get the younger one to give them a hand, uh, and, um, share it with your friends and then save some until the the, uh, the older, uh, more aged whiskey is released. Then you can really compare the young and the old, and you can get a sense of the direction the spirit is taking. Um, just a suggestion. Okay, and uh, well, let's move on to the taste. You know, this gets nicer the longer you leave it in the glass. So pour it, walk away from it for a little while, then come back and taste it again. Smell and taste it. Okay. Cheers, everyone. There's a real sourness to this. Um... I don't want to call it tart. Let's just call it sour. Um, there is some sweetness, but it's kind of on the saccharine side of things. Um, so that, you know, really intense sweetness um, that fades away kind of quickly. Uh, there are some raisins and dried apples uh, in the flavor. And, um, well, just as I was tasting that earlier, I thought, boy... This tastes like a sugar cube um, with lemon zest. Um, so sweetness, but also uh, some real intense sourness as well. 
also it's dry and a little bit peppery. Um, let's give it another try. With that sourness also, it is quite dry as well, as I mentioned, but anyway. The finish, it's medium length, there's a malty sweetness left over, uh, somewhat dry, and there's a uh, kind of a chlorophyll note coming through, and um, if you're in North America, kind of like the Clorette's gum. Anyway, let's try putting a little bit of water in there. I'm going to put uh, a good five milliliters in there. I think that wasn't quite enough. There we go. And 40%, um, you don't need much. Uh, I have a feeling though that when, uh, when Cavallan single malt comes of age, which will be very soon, uh, I think that people are going to be surprised uh, with the complexity and the strength of the flavor that comes out of that distillery. Um, and, and I say that because this packs quite a wallop uh, for such a young whiskey. It's intense. Um, there, it's coming out now. Um, this is another whiskey that really does well with water. And I said that with uh, the previous review, and I'm saying it here again, but you will enjoy this more with the addition of uh, a good measure of water. So in 20 to 25 milliliters of, of uh, whiskey, or just a little bit less than an ounce, uh, add about five milliliters or uh, a real teaspoon, a uh, real teaspoonful of good water uh, into it. Let it mix up. And I think you'll be quite happy with the result. I sure am. Um, so more sweetness comes out. And uh, I've written here. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I can't even read my own writing. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit of vanilla that's coming through. But lots of, uh, lots of fruit seeds. Hmm. Mm hmm. And um, well, the vanilla note. I think. I think. You know, the first part of the maturation was done in American oak casks, uh, as as I've discovered. Uh, so that could explain for some of the vanilla uh, um, sort of essence that's coming through. Um, and uh, and also an unripe apple or like a Granny uh, granny Smith, but they're really, really hard ones. Hmm. Okay, let's try tasting that with water. Hmm. Markedly improves with water. Uh, it's sweeter. And I've written here, raisin with lemon pudding. So still some uh, lemon sourness, but a little bit more raisin uh, on the palate. Uh, mint gum, I've written. Uh, probably a, um, a spearmint. And uh, it still is quite sour, in fact. Um, one more taste and we'll talk about the finish with water. <laughs> There's something a little bit buttery there. 
vanilla is coming back as well. Still quite dry um, and a fairly sweet finish. So a uh, pretty good package for uh, this young whiskey from Cavallon. Um, I do like it. I think that probably uh, this would be something that would be really nice to share with some friends. So go in together with some friends, uh, maybe get seven, eight people with about 10 bucks each. And you can buy a bottle of this. Could be more depending on where you are. Uh, give it a whirl. Uh, save half the bottle uh, and then next year when you see um, uh, I think what will be the 10 year old uh, then you can really experiment and see how how things have changed and I think uh, I think they're going to carry forward with this offering so probably also the concert master <clears throat> will begin to improve as they can start to mix uh, ages of casks together excuse me <clears throat> pardon me um, so that's that. Uh, the picture's rolling through there. You can see the distillery. Uh, Ian Chang, who is, I believe, the, the master distiller. He's done a very good job with that one. Uh, thank you very much, sir. And, um, well, uh, as for Mark's, this is going to get 70 out of 100 uh, as a whiskey whistle score. A um, little on the low side. A uh, lot of, I think, I think it's just too young. I do like it and I think it's going to improve year by year. So keep watching out for this one. And one day you may see a concert master 10 year old. And I think that's going to blow your socks off. Okay. So 70 points out of 100 uh, from Mark here at Whiskey Whistle. Cheers, everyone, and have yourselves a great weekend.